Hello YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to manipulate images using the Python pillow library. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first we have an image. So as you can see here in this directory I have an image called eiffel.jpg which represent the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So we're gonna actually manipulate it using the pillow Python library. Okay. So first thing first, let's make sure that the pillow library is installed. So you using you can install it actually depends on your system, but you can install it using the pip install pillow just like that Python library. Me, as you can see here, I have already installed it. I can verify that, but using the pip list command okay so here you can see that i'm using pillow version 8.2.0 okay so everything is okay here so i'm gonna open a blank file here we go i call it image manip.py so first thing first we have to import the models that we want to work with so the common way to use the pillow python library is um, p i l import the image model okay here we go so first thing first is let's just show the image that i have just showed you in my directory so for that we have to create an object image one for example you can call it whatever you want is equal to image dot open and here we provide the name of my picture or image <coughs> as it exists on the same library as my file I have only to provide the name which is a file dot jpeg okay pretty easy then in order to show it image dot show okay it's pretty easy let's save that and now let's execute our script so python tree and the name of my file which is image manip.py so here we go and my image has shown as you can see here this is the Eiffel Tower Okay, so now let's do some manipulation of this picture or image. <coughs> First of all, let's convert it to, let's say to a PNG file. Okay, so in order to do that, pretty easy. All we have to do is to replace this show here by another method. For example, save and here the name of my the image that i want to convert to so let's call it eiffel.png because i want to convert it to the png file okay let's save our file and let's execute that once again okay it has finished let's show you now the content of this directory and here, as you can see, a file called eiffel.png have been created. So you can verify that if I go here to my directory. And here it is, there is a file called eiffel.png. So we have converted JPEG image to a PNG image. So it was just pretty easy. Now let's try to rotate actually this image, which is eiffel.jpg. So in order to convert it, it's also pretty nice and pretty easy. We have to replace the save method by the rotate method. And here we have to provide the angle. So let's rotate it 90 degrees, for example, here. And let's save it. And we can name it whatever we want. So let's name it for example image rotate that jpeg 
so rotate and we provide how many degrees we want to rotate the image and we save it in any name we want let's save that let's execute again our script here we go we have no error pretty nice let's verify actually that uh, we have created our image so let's go to the directory here here we go so this is the name of my image image rotate let's open it so as you can see we have actually succeeded to rotate the image by 90 degree okay so it was pretty nice pretty easy another thing that we can do with the image is actually to uh, convert it to black and white image also it's pretty easy we have to uh, change this rotate method by convert and here we use a parameter called mode which will be equal to L, capital L and let's save it also to another file let's call it for example image black and white .jpg. so in order to convert an image to just black and white we have to use this convert method so here I forget the N convert let's save that let's verify that we have no error in our script we have no error and now let's verify our directory here we go you can see image that actually underscore B black and white JPEG and here we go we have our black and white image that we have created from the script okay it was pretty easy pretty simple another thing that you can do with images using the pillow python library is actually to resize our image so in order to do that also we have here first let's create a variable which is a tuple actually is equal so let's say that we want to convert our image for example for 3300 pixel by 300 pixel so we have first to create any variable that we want here I just name it size you can name it whatever you want okay so now that we have created this uh, size variable we'll be using here uh, another function image one dot thumbnail thumbnail and will provide as argument this variable called here size which contains the size that the image we want to convert to okay then we can save our image so let's just name it image 300 because it's 300 by 300 pixels okay so two functions here thumbnail and save in order to convert our image to 300 by 300 pixels okay so let's save that let's run script to verify that we don't have any error and now let's verify our directory to see if we have saved so here you can see I have created an image underscore 300 JPEG let's open it and you can see that indeed the size has changed and now we have 30 300 pixels by 300 pixels okay that was pretty easy pretty nice using also the pillow python library and finally let's blur our image let's try to blur our image okay so in order to blur our images we have to call another model called filter image or image filter so here from PIL we have to import also the model called image filter here we go <clears throat> and now 
so we let's get rid of this size because we want to resize it anymore we want just to blur our image and here we'll be using uh, filter function and we'll provide an, as an argument image filter dot another function called Gaussian filter actually or Gaussian blur okay so make sure to write it with capital letter for J and B and here we provide the radius for example I can provide whatever I want let's make it little blur blur so let's make it for example 14 okay then let's save our image using save method and let's call it image underscore blur okay so remember in order to blur our image you have first to call image filter model also from the PIL library and here we have called it function filter with as argument image filter that goes here blur with radius of 14 you can use 15 or 16 it depends on the intensity of your blur and we save it in any file or any name we want so let's save that and let's verify we don't have any error our script indeed we have an error here yes here you can see image filter has no attribute Gaussian blur because I mistyped the Gaussian so I have here to provide to write it as it is so this is the Gaussian blur because I changed A with U letters so make sure to type it very well so let's save that let's run it once again to verify we have no error and indeed now we have no error so let's see if we have a blur image in our directory called blur dot image underscore blur and here it is so let's open it to verify it's a blur and as you can see it's indeed blur with 14 in this case radius okay so that was just a brief introduction how to use the pillow python library in order to manipulate images as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye